I grew up with this very strong uh, feeling of independence, of self-reliance, of self-sufficiency. My mother was 25, and people will say, well, that seems fair enough. Uh, my father was 60. At 13, I worked for the local council, mostly cleaning out the sewer pipes and drains. So uh, you can imagine as a 13-year-old growing up uh, with people in the freezing works and in the sewer gangs, you have a lot of lifelong learning. I started off, first of all, designing for others. So this was in what was then called civil aviation in air traffic control engineering. Then I started my own company in uh, 75. The people who are going to drive the prosperity of New Zealand, particularly through exporting, are already born. So once again, I want to bring or return to this uh, social capital idea because these are very, very strong bonds that exist in communities, in precincts, uh, in small groups uh, within large cities. We are no longer living where we live. We have enormous ability to tap into the knowledge worldwide and very, very fast. So here's the forecast of what might be in the future, and I think it will be the future, or the fusion rather, of electronics and healthcare. Engineers have found a way of embedding electrodes into the spinal cord with a small electronic pack which senses the pain signals and can effectively block out those pain signals from reaching their brain. An enormous improvement in well-being and the health care of people suffering from chronic pain. I think too there'll be the rise of new computational facilities operating at the nano level, the very molecular level and literally will be getting supercomputers uh, in the size of a glass of water. It'll be largely through the discipline of engineering and all of the wonderful disciplines that are encompassed by engineering, the nuances of engineering that will help prosperity for our country.